This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbilmec, a bit of planner, Camp Power and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are at the EV Summit uh, outside of Oslo. This is at um, Nova Spectrum. But uh, I'm going to show you guys something cool today. Um, there, okay, there's lots of stuff going on here. Mostly just charging equipment, kind of not too interesting. There's some cars over there. But uh, this place here caught my attention. And okay, it just happened to be Finnish product. <laughs> <laughs> it's called um, uh, Intercontrol. Yes. And I have Ari here from Intercontrol, you also Finnish. Yes. So um, we need to make this kind of short because I have to go to the kindergarten. Sorry, yeah. guys. <laughs> but, but, but Ari, so um, here, okay. You have three different chargers. Right? Yes, we have. We have here Latinki 11 Home. It's a design for, uh, for a home usage uh, where you can uh, uh, bidirectionally charge your, your car and you can take uh, full advantage of your car battery to your home energy or to sell even to the grid. So this is uh, having basic functions so you can connect this uh, to the home energy management uh, system or even to uh, CPO if you, if you want. But this has all the basic functions. Mm -hmm. And then here? Uh, then we have here uh, Latinki 11 Pro, which is more uh, for um, public charging and uh, you can have uh, um, also a bigger screen there. You can also have uh, uh, on top of uh, RFID reader, you can have a payment terminal by uh, directional DC meter, so it, is, it can be used for public. And then we have a, a third version, is a Latinki Pro Ad version, where there is a need addition to a uh, big screen where you can have advertising or some uh, basic information timetables and things uh, like that at the airport or, or train station or wherever you want. Yeah, awesome. But I'm going to show you some. Yeah. So, because um, you know the whole vehicle to grid, where well, vehicle to load is available for many Chinese cars, the Korean cars. Yeah. But uh, the problem with vehicle to load is that it goes via the onboard charger. And here it bypasses the onboard charger. Yeah. Because, uh, um, oh, can I show the plug here? Yeah, so we have a CCS uh, block here, so this is a DC charger. So the DC uh, current from uh, car is coming here, and here we change it to the AC, AC current, and uh, it connects to the grid. So it's synchronized to the grid or your home uh, electricity. So this is the the thing here. So it goes both ways from the grid to the car or car to the grid. And then, um, uh, for example, this is the home, home uh, for the home users. Yes. It's 11 kilowatt, right? Yes. The, the, the inverter is 11 kilowatt. Yes. So you basically have 11 kilowatt uh, DC fast charge at home. Yes, this is a 11 kilowatt uh, DC charger and uh, what is uh, why it's 11 so normally in uh, in uh, at least in nordic it's a uh, uh, 25 uh, amp uh, fuses so 11 kilowatt is then in charging it's uh, it's enough for your home usage and mm. also bidirectionally uh, 11 kilowatt is uh, is also quite good power in your home consumption so you it covers quite a lot your home uh, home devices what uh, what you are using during the day. And then what is the cost for this? Uh, well, for the device plus the installation? Sorry? Uh, how much will it cost for home users to get this installed? Uh, we are we are targeting uh, next year something around uh, 3,000 uh, euros uh, for uh, for home uh, users. That's for the device, but also you need also pay for installation, right? Uh, yeah, installations. It's uh, then up to your local uh, installation company, but few hundred, uh, few hundred uh, euros for for the installation. So the installation cost is uh, is roughly the same as uh, with the AC charger. And also, uh, let me show here. Maybe I saw. Okay, but also now the the, the other question. Uh, the, 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 the other question I had is, what kind of cars does it work with? Well, it turns out it works with all the MEB cars. Yeah. yeah that, that, not a coincidence you have a, an ID bus there. Yeah. 
it is uh, it is uh, Volkswagen had uh, already indicated that they have uh, this uh, bi-directional uh, uh, charging in their car and uh, and the we can see that uh, it is it is working with those cars uh, they already have a bi-directional menu in those Volkswagens and uh, and uh, it is really showing and and there is also limiter uh, that uh, it is a certain number of cycles and kilowatt hours what you can consume your, from your battery. Uh -huh. Okay, and then I, I'm going to show you here also. We have just have a diagram here. So this is quite awesome. You know, the, the, when I heard about which cars support it, and I heard that um, MEB cars support it, that, that is big because there are plenty of MEB cars out there. Yeah. Let me show you an example here. Okay, we don't have that many cars for display, but. Uh, there is a Ford Capri and a Ford Explorer. They are based on MEB platform. Yeah. Yeah. And also Volkswagen and um, yeah, at least okay, at least MEB cars. Lots yeah. of them. Lots of different yeah. brands. Yeah. Like Skoda also. Yeah. Uh, but um, here again, a quick explanation here. Yeah. That um, uh, you have solar. Yeah. And At your home. Your target is to, with the home energy management systems, there are several on the market, to really lower your energy bill during the... So here, this Latinke gives you really the possibility to have a big uh, energy bank in, in your, your system, and you can join uh, to even to electricity reserve market with, uh, with this. So if you have a node pool pricing, uh, for example, what we have here, and uh, you are connected to grid solar panels, you can really make, uh, save a lot of money having a good, big energy bank in your uh, system. And it gives, Latinki, Latinki gives this possibility for you. So, uh, let me explain, okay. even if you don't have solar panel at home, yeah. or stationary battery at yeah. home, because at least the stationary battery can be a bit expensive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they're not that big compared to yeah. a big car yeah. battery. Um, you could then, if the price on the grid is high, yeah. you don't charge, but then the battery from the car is providing it from the building. Yeah. Uh, and then when the, the grid is cheap, then yeah. you charge it. Yeah. If you, but, it, yeah. yeah. If you have a notable pricing, of course you, can, you, you charge when it's cheap and then when it's a really big, uh, big prices, you can then uh, use, uh, use this uh, energy to your home building and you are not buying from the grid. But there's also more. And you can do grid balancing and you can yeah. sell to the electricity reserve market. Yeah. And that's yeah. where you can make more money per yeah. kilowatt hour. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. We, we have made this uh, Latting so fast that when it has done handshaking with the car, after that it is uh, so fast that you can participate uh, uh, certain reserve markets like uh, frequency balancing and uh, other components what are in the reserve market and that money is even bigger than uh, than what you get uh, when when uh, having cheap uh, cheap energy from uh, from the grid yeah so you know in the past i've been showing you guys um, tibbe and grid reward yeah. grid reward will only pull when, when we have lots of excess uh, electricity yeah. and so on, low, low price, then it might start charging and you get a negative price. You charge basically for free or you get a little bit money. Or when there is high demand, then it will stop, cut the grid or reduce it. And then you also get some money for compensation for stopping yeah. the charge. But yeah. the way I have experienced with the grid reward and for Tiber is that the money you get from this is almost microscopic. Yeah. But I'm hoping and guessing that this here, reserve market, they will pay you way more per kilowatt hour and for the grid balancing. Yeah, that's, uh, six frequency balancing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what we have seen in certain markets that uh, with this, from this uh, reserve market, you can uh, really get uh, reasonable money for, uh, for yourself. In addition to that, what you are saving, uh, saving here in your, your building consumption. Hmm. So. Um, interesting. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So interesting. Um, I think eventually we need to test this. The problem is that uh, the hardware is uh, fairly easy accessible, but if we want to test this in Norway, we also need the grid company or like Tibbe to support all of this. Yeah. So it's not that e easy to test it, but um, I would like to test this to see how the MEB cars can actually deliver 
power and, and it's, it's more use, usable or uh, it's more useful yeah. than the, the vehicle to load. Yeah. Because the vehicle to load, in my opinion, is, is more like a gimmick. You can go yeah. camping, but you can't really connect it to your home. Can yeah, you? that's true. That's true. Yeah. And uh, I hope that uh, we have uh, some kind of management systems uh, available and we can come to you, visit you and uh, test it uh, in, uh, in your environment quite soon. Yeah, yeah, okay, that, that could be pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and yeah. talk to you later. Okay.